guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we are going to be replying to comments uh, that I really think that we should reply to, or that I really think that I should reply to. Um, and before we start the video, I suggest that you click on that subscribe button and hit that bell so you know when one of my new videos has come out. Anyways, back to the video. Uh, right at the start, this is the comment I want to address. Now, I'm sure you saw it on the thumbnail, um, but, but, and it's, and usually some other YouTubers would do it later in the video, but that doesn't matter. Um, so just to reply to it, the big boy's better, and, and just short explanatory, it's better. Now, don't start commenting, it's, the 1218 is better, this is the 1218. Um, the big boy's better because it has 7,000 horsepower. It has way more wheels. Than, it has more wheels than that thing, which means more pulling power. Uh, and it all it, it can also produce one thousand. It can also produce one thousand one hundred one hundred twenty five thousand pounds worth of uh, worth of tractive effort. Um, now, don't start commenting. Well, that doesn't matter. Uh, first of all, the twelve. The your your opinion doesn't matter about the twelve eighteen. Uh, now, and you can unsubscribe if you want to, and I'm sorry I roasted you like that, but anyways, to the next comment is this one by Hugo Throne, and which, shout out to Hugo Throne, this one by Hugo Throne, and which, shout out to Hugo Throne, he, he, he's a, he commented on my videos, and shout out to him, uh, just replying to this particular comment, I know the backstory, or some of it, in the short form. So, here's the back, here's the potential backstory. So, it was produced in the 1960s, or like 1968, or something like that, you know, during the era of the Vietnam War. And, um, I think it was produced by Alco, um, but, but it looks like an EMD, I, I, I think it's Alco. Could been e it could have been EMD, but I I don't know. Just Google it at this point. Um, but but um, whatever railroad, it doesn't matter what railroad it was built by. Let's focus on the history. So uh, in the nineteen seventies and nineteen sixties and some of the nineteen eighties, uh, it it was it. It was a absolute giant of a locomotive, and it pretty much surprised a lot of people in America. It had two engines. It had a lot of horsepower, from what I know, and it had, and it had, tr and it had eight axles. I I I'm not kidding. It's eight axles. Now, norm the normal amount of axles you'd see on an EMD or a general electric locomotive that you would see today has six axles so that proves that the uh, dda 40x is an absolute beast anyways so as the dd 40 ax got closer into the mid 1980s and the late 1980s and eventually arriving in the early 90s it started to lose popularity by a lot so some of them were getting scrapped because of course general electric and wide cam locomotives took took over the market in that time with the AC six hundred uh, CW and with some other locomotives like the C forty eight I think I think so it was a C forty eight and and um and then in which it became a museum piece some some were scrapped to straight metal but however I have seen two one is in Union Illinois and. One is in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm sure you might have already knew that there was one in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, but yeah, so basically, so in short form, it w it was built. It became a it became pretty popular. They started to lose popularity, got scrapped, and then turned into a museum piece. So that's all the comments I really want to address. I might I might address some other comments in a different video, but uh, that'll be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.